It's that time. Time to win you some money. It's Easy Money with E. Erica, our resident sports betting analyst, is joining us again this week to give us the best bets. And you nailed it last week, Erica. Kim, okay, so I'm super excited because, yes, my head-to-head -head with um, Hamlin and Larson that we filmed for Around the Track, that one hit. Um, but my bonus bets that I filmed closer to race weekend, two of those hit, including the head-to-head. But the biggest one that cashed in was my outright winner, Brad Koslowski, at plus 1800 A $10 bet won us a total of $190. And Kim, I can do some things with $190. How about you? <laughs> yeah, we can do some things. So let's figure out where we're going to put our money this week. And there is so much racing action to bet on. So let's start with the open race. Outright runners for the open race. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go Ty Gibbs, and I'm also going to go Josh Berry. Ty Gibbs at plus 275. Kim, I feel like each week Gibbs makes a liar out of me because I'm like, it's going to be the week. It's going to be the week he wins, and he hasn't won yet. But he has run very well this year. As we know, he finished second at Darlington. And plus 275 as the favorite, I, I, I don't feel like that's a bad spot at all. And he finished second this um, in this open race last year. Second behind, none other than Josh Berry, my second pick at plus 800, where a $10 bet wins you a total of $90. We all know that Josh runs really well at short tracks. He won the open race last year. He finished third last week at Darlington. So that value, that price, I'm liking that a lot. Those are my two drivers, Kim, who I like to possibly win the all-star open race this weekend. Yeah, both drivers with great energy headed to North Wilkesboro after podium finishes at Darlington. All right, let's look at the actual all-star race, but let's start with head-to-head -head bets. Yes, yeah, so my head-to-heads, my very first one that I'm going to go with is Denny Hamlin over Kyle Larson. And Kim, this is where <laughs> you and I, <laughs> this is where we had beef last week. And I want to see where you sit again because I'm going to go Hamlin. Um, I know I tell you guys, always take the plus money when it makes sense. But I'm going to eat my words here because I am still feeling Hamlin at minus 140 because this is, this is his year, Kim. I think that not only is this his year, he's proven he has everybody's number. Hamlin at minus 140. What are you going to do on this head-to-head -head this week? Uh, that's a hard one. Um, Hamlin did win the clash. That was kind of a short track race with no points on the line. Um, but I, we're going to be split again because I'm going Larson. He swept the races at North Wilkesboro last year. He's got so much racing action in the month of May, and I think that's going to give him the momentum to find victory lane again. Okay, well, speaking of momentum, someone who does not have some momentum <laughs> is the next driver that I'm backing, and that is Reddick over C. Bell. And this is one of those spots where plus money to me makes really great sense. And I say he doesn't have momentum, Reddick, because he disappointed me so badly last week at Darlington, but I'm going to give him an opportunity to redeem himself and win me some money. Taking him over C. Bell, he finished in this race third last year. Um, that's my pick for this head-to-head. -head. What about you? Ooh, I'm going to go Tyler Reddick only because Christopher Bell has had uh, just a lot of bad luck recently. And so I don't know that he gets out of that bad luck this weekend. Okay. Well, someone who had good luck was Kislowski last week, my outright winner. I'm taking him. This is a toss-up over um, Busher. Both of these drivers are minus, are minus 115. Um, you really could go either way, but I do want to let you guys in on a secret why I'm backing um, Kislowski in this spot and why I backed him last week as the outright winner. And that is six is my favorite number. So <laughs> whenever I can find a spot to back Kislowski that makes sense, please believe I'm going to bet the number six car. I mean, that's how people hit the lotto. I like it. Amen. All right. So we've got our head-to-head -head bets. Let's talk about outright bets for the NASCAR All-Star Race. Who should we put our money on? So the three drivers whose outright winners odds that I'm looking at, Hamlin, Logano, and Suarez. Hamlin, listen, I, I can't talk about Hamlin anymore because we know all the things about him. Great driver, great pit crew. This is his year. Okay. Logano, I like his longer odds. I mean, those aren't the longest odds, obviously, but I like the, the plus 900 odds for Logano. Um, and then Suarez, he's a huge long shot. I say huge long shot, longer than Hamlin and longer than Logano at plus 3,000. He, other than Larson, was the only driver to lead laps at this race last year, Kim. And you remember at the beginning of the year, I said that Suarez was like my sleeper pick to actually win the Cup Series. I kind of want to walk that back 
but I still got to pick them in some <laughs> spot. And this is one of them right now. Nice. Such great information. We appreciate it. We'll check in with you next week before Charlotte race weekend to get your insight. And again, fans, don't forget, Erica has her bonus bets that air later in the week on her Instagram channels.